Right. Body camera footage can be a crucial part in cases involving police conduct. It's why Representative Wanda Gavan proposed the bill that we're talking about tonight. ABC 3340's Megan Scarano joins us now to explain it. Megan, the way this bill is written, who will be able to see body camera video in situations like this? Stephen, the bill says a person seen or heard in the video can see it, or if that person is no longer alive, a parent or a spouse. But as it's written now, it does not give the public the right to view it. Representative Wanda Lingavan says when body camera video is released to families, it can give them answers and calm the public. She referenced the case of Tyree Nichols as an example. That is why you did not see the town of Memphis looted. You didn't see so much calamity. You didn't see the loss of life. So, as I said, it's a common sense, sense approach to public safety, but also it's a common sense approach to allow enough courtesy and respect to those families. Some we spoke to agree, saying transparency is key, while others argue against it. People are already in suspense and they're grieving, you know, so they want to have some answers. I don't think you can get a, a fair, thorough investigation with all of that going on without the pressure that they put on people to, to rush to judgment. The bill would give law enforcement the ability to pick the time and place the family would be shown the recording. The video or audio would also be shown to the family, but not released to them, and they wouldn't be allowed to record it. Everett Johnson, the president of the Alabama Fraternal Order of Police, has concerns about the impacts this could have. People are going to walk away from that room. They're going to talk. They're going to communicate with their friends. They're going to communicate with people outside of that room, and, that, and what they see on that camera um, or, or on that video, rather, could be released to, to the public just, just by word of mouth and um, could definitely, it could taint a jury. Law enforcement may be quick to release video when something good happens, but it may take a while to get that video when something bad happens. Is that a double standard when it comes to releasing body camera video? When you're holding it for something bad, doesn't mean that it's something bad. It's just you're you're holding that information in order to Number one, have, have the judicial process go through so that you can get a positive outcome on the end. The bill also gives law enforcement the option to not release the video at all if it could harm their investigation, leaving some to wonder if the bill does enough. This is a start. At least you will be have an avenue that you can say to the prosecutor, to the district attorney's office, or whomever it is, that, hey, we want at least an opportunity to get some degree of information. The bill will go before the Public Safety Committee tomorrow. Live in Birmingham, Megan Scrano, ABC 3340 News.